So do you think about moving to Frisco, Texas and wondering where the heck everything is? Like what's the actual layout of the town? Where are the popular things to do? What are the best neighborhoods? You know, what is life actually gonna look like? What are the places you're going to frequent often if you actually live here? Well, we're gonna cover all of that today. I'm gonna pull up a map and I'm gonna walk you through all of Frisco, show you where all the popular spots are in town, show you where the most popular places to live are, some of the major roadways, we're gonna talk about outdoor recreation and just give you a overall feel of Frisco, Texas. So you're more aware of where everything is as you continue to figure out if Frisco is right for you and where specifically in Frisco might be the best fit for you. By the way, my name is Michael Carraway. I'm a realtor here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. And on this channel, we talk about what it's like to live in the Dallas, Texas Metro, as well as some of the best places to live. So you can find out once and for all if Dallas is the right fit for you. All right, we need to show you around Frisco. And in order to do that, we're gonna pull up the map, which we're gonna do right now. All right, so Frisco is located in both Collin County, which is on the east side of Dallas North Tollway here, and Denton County on the west side of Dallas North Tollway. As you can see here, it's located about 26 miles north of downtown Dallas. Um, another milestone or point of reference that you might wanna have is how far away is it from Frisco to the uh, DFW International Airport. It's about 20 miles uh, as a crow flies, as you can see, according to this. Um, so Frisco definitely is a little bit more in the very far north suburbs of Dallas. Uh, your commute to Dallas could be anywhere as quick as you know, 30 minutes if there's no traffic, all the way up to uh, an hour plus if Dallas North Tollway is really congested uh, during those, those rush hour times. So um, if you're commuting to Dallas, you're gonna have a little bit of traffic going in here. That being said, Dallas North Tollway is one of the best uh, roadways and tollways to be have access to, to be able to get downtown into Dallas. Uh, a lot of these other interstates and, and, and tollways and highways that go through here, are a lot more congested than what you'll find um, on Dallas North Tollway. So that is a benefit of being located in Frisco. Some of these other major tollways um, that go around uh, Frisco specifically, you have Sam Rayburn Tollway that goes right through here. You have Dallas North Tollway that goes north and south. Right now, Dallas North Tollway ends right just past University Drive up here, which is 380. Uh, but eventually there's plans to go keep going uh, more and more north, uh, probably eventually all the way up through Oklahoma. So there's a lot of growth that continues to move more north as this tollway continues to expand up north. Uh, I mentioned 380. 380 is kind of the north border of Frisco. So that's a good reference point for you up there. Okay, so we're gonna first jump into entertainment in Frisco. I'm gonna show you around the map here and show you where a lot of people end up going for entertainment options. You obviously have your dining and your, your bars and you have uh, shopping and things like that in these areas, but you also have unique things as well um, that I'll try to cover as we go through this as well. First, we're gonna start way up north and work our way south. Um, and the first one that I'm gonna bring up is the Fields West development. Now, the Fields West, West development is very, very new. It's not even developed yet. It's in the process of being developed but it's worth pointing out because there's gonna be over 4.2 million square foot of corporate office space, 425,000 square foot of retail, restaurant and entertainment space, and 2,000 urban living residents. And on top of that, 375 hotel rooms. So this is gonna be a huge development. There's going to be a lot going on up in Fields West, and it's actually really close. It's in the same area as the new PGA headquarters uh, development, which is right up here on the border of Frisco and Prosper. A lot of cool things to do up there. A lot of, especially if you're into golf, uh, there's golf courses, you have things like Top Golf. you've got a bunch of just things to do up here. Um, even if you're not into golf, there's just a lot that's gonna be developed up in this north side up here. And Fields West is going to be the staple uh, destination up in this north side of Frisco as soon as, it, as it's developed. It's gonna be developed over the next few years. And like all of these new developments, they usually develop in phases. So you'll see small parts go up and be able to use that even while they are developing over the next few years. So definitely a really, really cool spot to look out for as time goes on here. And a lot of people are really happy about that development because right now uh, up in this north part of Frisco, there's not a whole lot going on except houses. Uh, you've got some development along 380 uh, where you can get some shopping and stuff in restaurants and all that kind of stuff up here. 
but nothing significant, no cool things to do necessarily. But as this Fields West development comes in, as this new PGA development comes in, there's going to be a lot more to do up in this area. Working our way a little bit south, the next place I'm going to point out is Frisco Square. Frisco Square is a multi-generational master plan development, which will encompass as much as 4.4 million square foot of office space, retail, multifamily, and municipal facilities in an area of 147 acres. It's a really cool area. It's It looks kind of like a uh, miniature downtown area for Frisco. It's where Frisco City Hall is. You've got some amazing restaurants there. You've got a lot of festivals that happen there. Um, there's like wine festivals, Oktoberfest, things like that. Uh, this is the place that that happens in Frisco. So this will definitely be a go-to spot if you find yourself in Frisco. And just to the east a little bit is the Frisco Rail District. And this is, this is more of the old downtown of Frisco. It's literally just one to two streets that actually have businesses on it. It's a very small condensed area, but there are some really good restaurants, some really cool coffee shops, and some other small businesses. If you're looking for more of that local feel, you're gonna find that in the rail district. Now, one of the most popular spots in Frisco right now is the Star. And the Star is located just off of Dallas North Tollway on the west side right here. And the Star is a 91 acre campus of the Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters and practice facility in Frisco, Texas. Developed as the first of its kind partnership between the city of Frisco and Frisco ISD, Star gives fans the opportunity to connect with the Dallas Cowboys in ways they have never imagined. The Star District is the perfect place to enjoy premier dining, shopping, events, and entertainment. So again, if you're in Frisco, this is going to be a really popular area for you to go. It's a great spot uh, just because there's so much going on there. There's always some sort of event going on. Uh, there's a ton of restaurants. You've got some really cool shops in there. And of course, you've got an outdoor football field as well that you just see kids kind of running around on all the time. It's a good place to just hang out. Um, you know, maybe you grab a coffee from Ascension and go over to that football field area, let the kids run around. It's just a cool spot to go and you'll definitely find yourself there often if you live in Frisco. And just a little bit further to the Southeast, you also have Stonebriar Center. Stonebriar Center is kind of the OG development in Frisco. I think it was one of the actual first like actual reasons that you might want to go to Frisco. It's just your, your typical mall is, is the staple here, but it is a massive mall, tons of different shops uh, in that mall. And then you also have a lot of standalone shops and dining outside of the mall as well. So this entire area here, there's just, it's heavy with a bunch of things to do, a bunch of places to eat and a bunch of places to shop right in this area as well. So you'll likely find yourself here a lot uh, and then I do want to mention three other spots that are actually outside of Frisco, but you have really easy access to if you live in Frisco by just going across Sam Rayburn Tollway. Uh, if you go a little bit fur further down Dallas North Tollway here, you have Legacy West, which is a high-end shopping and entertainment district in Plano. Uh, you also have the shops at Legacy, which is just across the other side of Dallas North Tollway which contains a lot of the other, the same things over there, your shopping and dining. And then a little bit further south on Sam Rayburn, you've got Grandscape, which again is a huge entertainment district and a lot of cool things to do over there. Uh, Andretti Indoor Karting being one of those things. You've got the Puttery over there, which is an adult mini golf place to go. So that, that can be fun. You've got Top Golf over here as well. So just a ton to do in Frisco and just outside of Frisco. You can kind of see as I zoom out here, all these red spots are kind of what we talked about. So you can see that some of these main entertainment spots in Frisco are going to be located along Dallas North Tollway and Sam Rayburn Tollway. So as we're trying to figure out where the best place for you to land is, if you want to be close to these areas, then being along, being closer to these major tollways is going to be a benefit to you because you can easily get to these places no matter where you are like if you lived anywhere along sam rayburn tollway or if you live anywhere along dallas north tollway all of these spots that we've talked about today are going to be less than 10 minutes away it's really easy to get on the dallas north tollway up here way far north and get down into like legacy west or grandscape in 10 minutes or so so just think about that if you are okay with being a little bit further away then you can start looking into more of the interior of Frisco, a little bit further outside of these tollways where you're going to get um, a lot of housing developments, 
but you're going to be, you know, 10 minutes away from the tollway plus an additional 10 minutes on the tollway to get to some of these areas that we talked about today. But the next thing we're going to talk about is outdoor recreation in Frisco. And, and there's a lot to do in Frisco as far as outdoor recreation goes. So we're going to jump into it right now. And like we did before, we're going to start up north and work our way south. And to start, we're going to start at Fields Ranch. And this is really close to that Fields West development that we talked about up in that uh, new PGA headquarters development up in this north side of Frisco. This is a golf course. If you're a golfer, you're going to find a ton of options up here. Uh, a little bit further south of that Fields Ranch area is Northwest Community Park. Um, and this is just an awesome park, especially if you're into mountain biking um, or you just like more of that soft trail type uh, environment. You've got some hiking options there. Um, going a little bit further south, you have the Trails of Frisco Golf Club. Uh, so another option if you're into golfing, jumping up over to here. You've got Northeast Community Park, which is a great park uh, in Frisco, one of my personal favorites. Um, and as you can see, like I pointed out a few parks, you can see a lot of green throughout Frisco. There are a ton of parks in Frisco. The, uh, the Parks and Recreation Department of the City of Frisco has done a really good job of making plenty of options for you as far as parks go. So there's no way I can cover all of them today. I'm just pointing out some of the more popular ones today. And Northeast Community Park is definitely one of those. And same with Frisco Commons Park. This it comes up a lot uh, as far as some of the best parks in Frisco. So definitely check that out. And then going a little bit further south here, you've also got Grand Park. And Grand Park is one of the newest parks in Frisco. And just for context, this is going to be bigger than uh, Central Park in New York City. Right now, there's one trail that goes through Grand Park. But over time, as this continues to be developed, there's going to be a lot more trails and a lot more things to do in Grand Park. And it's going to be a beautiful, huge uh, attraction in Frisco as it continues to be developed over the next few years. Now, another opportunity for golf is in the Frisco Lakes Golf Club right here. Or if you're into uh, more of the country club environment, you've got Stonebriar Country Club that's a little bit further to the south. Um, of Grand Park, just off of Sam Rayburn and Dallas North Tollway. Now over here is one of the bigger outdoor recreation attractions uh, in, in, if you're in Frisco, and that is Louisville Lake. Uh, really easy access to Louisville Lake if you live in Frisco by just going straight west. You'll find multiple access points here. You also have uh, a few different beaches that you can hang out in, um, boating opportunities. You can get out and kayak and paddleboard and all that kind of stuff. So it's really nice to have that so close to you when you live in Frisco. Now, the last list of things I want to point out to you today about Frisco are some of the more notable neighborhoods in Frisco. These are some of the more popular ones that you hear people talk about all the time and that I personally do a lot of business in because these are uh, highly attractive communities. And I'm going to point those out right now, starting on the north side. And on the north side here, Again, up in that PGA uh, headquarters development area, uh, just on the west side of all of that is Hollyhock. And Hollyhock is a newer construction community. You get some really nice homes. Most are going to be in the $700,000 and up range. Um, and that's going to typically be your range when you're looking up north up here. You're going to be in that high, uh, at least high 600s and up uh, if you're looking in this area specifically. But Hollyhock is a beautiful community. It's a master plan community. So you get the things like the pool, you get the trails, you get um, community centers, things like that. Hollyhock is definitely a place to check out if you are in that budget. Going a little bit further south is Newman Village. And Newman Village is one of the most exclusive uh, communities in Frisco. It has some of the fanciest homes around and it's really unique. Uh, there's not, they're not your typical traditional Texas builds in that neighborhood. If you're looking for more of a high-end home that's unique and different, that's definitely a place to check out. It's almost got a European vibe to the styles of houses that they have in there. And you're realistically going to be need to be uh, in the million dollar range and up to be able to get into a house in Newman Village. Okay, going a little bit further south is the Trails. And the Trails is another great community. This is also a master plan community and it's a golf course community. Um, but you're going to find a little bit older homes in this particular community. And, you know, and when I say old, most of them are going to be early 2000s, right? So not super old at all. You got a lot of great, beautiful homes in there. Most are brick homes and you have the accessibility to the golf course, which a lot of people love about the trails. 
You also got things like pools, you got tennis courts and trails throughout the community. So the trails is definitely a great neighborhood to consider if you're looking to move to Frisco and you can find homes in the $400,000 range all the way up to, uh, I think the, the most expensive one I've seen in there is about a million dollars. So a uh, big range of home values in the trails. All right, we're gonna jump a little bit over east and right here is Lexington. Lexington is located just off Main Street. Again, master plan community, newer community. Most are gonna be in, built in the late 2000s to um, you know, just being constructed right now. You have new build opportunities in Lexington. This is a cool kind of location because you're kind of in the center of everything, right? Um, you're not necessarily super close to the tollway, but you can easily get to Dallas North Tollway or Sam Rayburn Tollway within 10 minutes. But you get some of the cool amenities like being close to uh, Frisco Square in the rail district, and you can easily get down into the golf course over here, the plantation resort. Um, you got Her Harold Bacchus Community Park right here. And then you've got uh, Craig Ranch over here, which is technically McKinney, but that is another great opportunity for golfing and things like that. So you're going to find mostly residential in all this area, obviously a little bit of commercial properties, restaurants, things like that sprinkled throughout all of this. Um, but if you're looking for more of that residential feel and being surrounded by mostly houses, then this could be a great area for you. And right next to Lexington is going to be the estates at Shattuck Park, very similar community to Lexington, just on a much smaller scale, uh, really nice houses in there, late 2000s, smaller community but a, a beautiful community at that. And then a little bit further south is the Grove. Again, this is a master plan community. You're gonna get like a resort style pool. You've got a coffee house that's actually on uh, premise at the neighborhood. You've got tons of things to do as a community. They hold events all the time, trails throughout, and you've got new construction in there as well. So the Grove could be a good consideration for you. You're a little bit closer to that Craig Ranch area and really close access to Sam Rayburn. So another great community to consider. Moving a little bit further south, we're gonna end to some of the, personally, one of the, the more popular areas that I see people consider when they move to Frisco. The first one being Phillips Creek Ranch. And Phillips Creek Ranch is a massive, massive master plan community. Tons of different homes in there, tons of different styles of homes, and a huge age range of homes. You're gonna get some that are very, very new and some that are more early 2000s, uh, but one of the best communities around. There are amenities there, such as a pool and a workout facility. There's definitely better communities as far as the amenities go, but the location is really good with Phillips Creek Ranch because you have Grand Park really close by. Dallas North Tollway is not very far away at all. And you've got a ton um, of things to do right along 423 right here. A lot of restaurants, some shopping, a lot of entertainment uh, options, especially for families around this 423 area. So lots of things to do around Phillips Creek Ranch. And a little bit further uh, to the east is going to be Edgestone. Edgestone is a newer construction community, very recently built uh, in the late 2000s and uh, still constructing at this moment. So if you're looking for new construction, Edgestone could be good. Um, you're going to find homes that are mostly going to be above 700,000 in this community. Um, the downfall to Edgestone is that the yards, generally speaking, are very small, but the community is absolutely beautiful. The landscaping is super beautiful and all the amenities that they have in there, like the pool, the clubhouse, really well done and they feel like a resort. So Edgestone is a cool place to consider for sure. A little bit further south, you have the Hills of Kingswood. This is one of the most exclusive communities. It's a gated community uh, in Frisco. And honestly, it's some of the most beautiful environments that you can get in North Texas. It's really hard to find a community that has hills in it um, and actually has some topography in there. And Hills of Kingswood does. Um, there's not a ton of amenities in Hills of Kingswood, but the homes are absolutely ridiculous up there. You have some traditional homes on the lower part of Hills of Kingswood. But for the most part, uh, you're gonna find a lot of contemporary, uh, a lot of more modern homes in here, and they're very large and expensive homes. So if you're in that million dollar and up range, Hills of Kingswood could be a good area for you to look. And there's actually lots for sale as well if you're looking to build a uh, custom home. So Hills of Kingswood is perfect if you're more in that luxury market.
And the last neighborhood I want to bring up is Stonebriar Country Club. And if you're into that more country club vibe, uh, this could be a great, great community for you. Being close to the country club and being close to Dallas North Tollway and Sam Rayburn is definitely the biggest strength of this community, as well as obviously you have uh, a lot of amenities on here in here as well and plenty of places to walk. The downfall to Stonebriar Country Club is that most of these homes are older and what I've found is that a lot of people that end up moving in here, you know, they, they are higher priced homes because they're on in a country club, um, but they're usually outdated homes too. So you have to be willing to either buy, either buy a renovated home or be willing to buy an older home and be ready to update it before you move in or just be okay with a more outdated home if you're looking in Stonebriar Country Club. So no matter where you are in the process, reach out. I'd love to help you find the perfect place to call home here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email anytime. Seriously, I'm here to help you find the perfect fit here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. Until next time, I'll see you later.